Hey YouTube, it's Brian, or known as Dive Biologist, and I'm going to be teaching you the proper workflow of importing your 3D models from Blender into Roblox. Um, in all honesty, you can use any kind of 3D program um, as long as it supports OBJ or FBX files. Um, I'm going to be teaching you how to import everything all at once, or bulk import everything. Um, without having to change your mesh ID like all the other YouTube tutorials on Roblox and this one's gonna be really fast and Really easy. So let's get started um, We're gonna choose something with already a texture on it. So maybe this cannon right here. It consists of two parts So all you got to do is go to file and then export and Then choose FBX And then I'm just gonna put it on my Desktop, let's see, right here. Uh, tutorial right here. Alright, so the options that you want to select is selected objects. This makes it so that it will only import this thing or export that thing that you selected. Um, the scale, set it to 0 0.01 because FBX is always larger than it's supposed to be. And um, we're going to call this thing the cannon. And in this case, it's going to grab the whole cannon. So we're going to go into uh, Studio now. So when you open up Studio, what you need to go to is View, your Asset Manager. And now make sure to publish your game. So let's just do Tutorial Testing as this name. Let's create that there. OK, so now you have access to your whole Asset Manager. And this is really what you want to see so now you click the bulk import and it's that logo right there let's go to tutorial oh, that didn't show up so let's just go here canon fbx select that press open make sure so these options right here is rescale of too large if the model is way too large roblox will automatically rescale it for you um normally you check that it says we will uh, reverse inward pointing mesh normals. So if you have any faces that are inverted, it's going to automatically do it for you. So I keep that on. And then import file is a single mesh. That means it's going to take everything that you selected and put it as one single mesh. In this case, we're not because you want the cannon separate from the body. So we're going to do apply all. And then it's going to start importing. And you'll see it on the bottom left of your screen. It's going to take a little bit of time to import. And then once that shows, it's going to show up right here. And the proper way to insert it is hold shift and click on both of them. Right click and insert with location. And yeah, it's right there. Everything is set. It's going to be much smaller than it usually is sometimes. Um, but you can always just resize it and it'll be fine. Um, some things about this is that it all shares the same UV even though it's separate, uh, which is very good. Um, this is a really fast and efficient way to get your models into the game without having to, you know, insert a part in and then, you know, um, inserting a mesh, mesh part. I don't even know. <laughs> So, oh yeah, and sort of the mesh part in and then manually changing the IDs. So this is the fastest way to do it. Um, I'm going to be releasing a video on how to do, um, how to import from Substance Painter or Blender if you're utilizing like normal maps and other channels like that. So make sure to tune in for the next uh, episode. Uh, thank you guys. And... Keep developing. Bye.